and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. I hope your colouring's all going well in this Halloween month. So, this video, um, I am playing Colouropoly with Chronic Colouring Down Under. She's on YouTube and it's like Monopoly. You, uh, you say how many rolls you want, where you want to start on the board. And each of the like places is like a theme for your colouring. So this month I had two rolls. I started on free parking and my first roll I got whimsical. So I've done a, a, a witch in Enchanted Halloween. And then for my second roll, I got sent to jail. And sent to jail on Colouropoly means I have to do the non-dominant hand colouring challenge. So I am right-handed. So I have to colour with my left hand. I have never done this before. So um, I've got a page and it is from Matchstick Mouse, an autumn colouring book. I've chosen the most simple image I can possibly find. And we're going to have a go. And you can laugh along with me to your heart's content in this video while I try and colour with my left hand. So... I'm using my Arteza Everblend uh, alcohol markers for a base. So this video is going to be doing the base with my left hand. And then, hilariously, we're going to be trying to do the pencil shading with my left hand as well. So look, look, um, let's get going and see how hilarious this is actually going to be. So my little mouse is always, oh my goodness, I can see this is going to be awful already. <laughs> it feels really alien to even contemplate putting this in my other hand. Right, I'm zooming you in. Oh my goodness, this is not going to be as quick as it is when I colour. <laughs> I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Okay, I wonder if it might be easier just going straight in with the chisel. Okay, because then it'll cover a larger surface area. Oh my goodness, my control is rubbish. So, wonderful wonderful subscribers if oh my cats are fighting um my male cat's really mean um he's just asserting his dominance right so lovely subscribers i would urge you to have a go do you know what using the chill is actually much easier with your left hand um i would urge you to have a go at trying this and see if you can surprise yourself. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the fine tip now. See if you can su surprise yourself. I mean, it's not easy. Don't get me wrong. The control is de <laughs> definitely not there. Um, but see if you can su surprise yourself. I mean, I have written with my left hand before. I mean, it, I mean it's definitely not as good as with my right hand. But I have written... And I am a violinist, so um, I think that may kind of help because the dexterity is there in my fingers. But I'm not really using my fingers, am I, to colour with? Sorry, I just bashed the camera then. Um, yeah, this is definitely not easy. <laughs> but I urge you to have a, have a go, even if it's just for laughs. You could maybe grab a friend if you colour with friends and do it together and just have a giggle. Um in some ways, I'm very, very glad this has a black background because you then cannot see how badly I am going over the lines. Um, so, yeah, definitely. <laughs> this feels really, really alien. <laughs> and I think you can probably see that, um, how alien that feels. And it's very, it's very um, easier if you move the paper around uh, or move the book around. Oh, my goodness. It just feels so stupid. Um, I now ha know how a child feels when you put a pen or pencil in their hand for the first time. And like, what is this alien instrument? So, chronic colouring down under. I know you gave me the option of not doing this, but I am playing the game of Colouropoly. So, when I play a game of Colouropoly, I play it to the full. So if that means non-dominant hand, that is what we do. So this was a pastel orange, right? This is how I like to do my little matchstick mouse. It's a pastel orange, she rather. It's a pastel... Oh, oh I've done a bad thing. I 
forgot to put the paper underneath. <gasps> That's so bad. Right, just got to go and grab some paper. Oh, I haven't ruined it too much, so that is okay. Only a little bit of lead through. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that. Bad, bad. See, this is what happens when you do non-dominant, non-dominant hands. Everything just goes out the window. In some, oh, look, that, that was hilarious going over the line piece there. Really hilarious. Um, I just don't have the control at all. <laughs> um... I want to think that I have, but my brain is telling me this is not feeling right, people. And it's very different. I, and I know, I, I know it's very different with left hand as well, because you have to, like, so not to smudge it, you have to, like, start in the right rather than, like, in the, so if I start here to go across that way rather than going the way I would, oh, my goodness. I would normally go, goodness, that's a, that's a really, that was a, look at that. That's a really good going over the lines bit there. Okay, so that's the mouse done. Now I've got to do the ear. And the ear I use ballerina pink. And the tail I use ballerina pink. And the nose I use ballerina pink. So at least they're all like light colours. Goodness alone knows how I'm going to do the pencil shading i mean that's just going to be ridiculous but hey ho i am having a go can you see that no it's a bit off camera okay uh so so how's everybody doing we are oh it's probably my camera telling me i've not got oh, not got much battery so this might not be a long video uh, um so it's half term. I have one more day left and then I have a week off. Woohoo! We've got some nice things planned. A few meetups with friends. Right, so my owl is going to be grey blue. And I think he's probably. He's probably going to have some dark flecks and, some and a bit of glitter in him as well. That's what I did when I did my owl previously. I don't know if that's a wing or a leaf. Really don't know. I don't like the chisels as much on these alcohol markers. They don't seem to be as juicy as the fine tips. And I don't know if that's just because I'm storing them fine tip. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that's just because I'm storing them fine tip down or what, but some of them are just not as juicy as others. Um, right, I, I know some people have got alcohol like marker in brush tips, but I don't get on so well with brush tips, I find them difficult to use. Can you still see that? You can still see that. Um, yeah, I find the brush tips quite difficult to control. Oh my goodness, mind you, anything would be difficult to control with a hand that I don't normally use to colour, to be honest. Oh my goodness. I just don't have the f fine motor skills to make it work. Make it work. Just work. Okay. Yeah, I'm so glad this is a black background because, oh my goodness, did you see that? Went over the line really badly there. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm really not doing so very well. Oh, I just feel, I just feel so, I just want to flip to my other, up my other hand, but I'm going to persevere and I'm going to do this all with my left hand, even whether it completely just makes me want to puke. It's really discombobulating because you just think you should be able to do it, but I'm finding it really, really tough, especially getting into these little details around all the lines. Anyway... Yeah, so it's half term. I hope I don't get this challenge again. I don't think I could do it again. I, I feel as though I might be ruining my picture a little bit. 
But I picked what I thought was a simple page, but it's actually really not. <laughs> you still on camera? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not going to ruin the page. Even if I put loads of glitter all over it. Oh, goodness. Um, oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness me. This is... Oh, I really just... Oh, I really just want to flip my other hand, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. It's taking a lot of willpower not to just flip it into my other hand. I don't know if anyone else who's done this challenge has ever experienced that, where they just want to put it in their other hand. Oh, goodness, it's taking so much willpower. Okay, that's the owl. Woohoo! Hang on, I'm just going to do this wing. Try not to go over the line. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yes, that's the owl. Right. Then I'm going to do this um, branch at the bottom. Some brown. I might have to get the chisel out for that one. Yeah, so we're going to go up to London one day. We're going to go to the Natural History Museum. And see some dinosaur bones and things, which should be really fun. Looking forward to taking my and sharing that with my daughter. Um, I don't know what day we're doing that. I think Wednesday maybe. And then we've got some friends. And we're going to like a oh goodness Halloween camp one day. I think that's on the Friday. She's got a Halloween party she's going to on the 31st. And I've got a full week off. I cannot believe it. I'm so looking forward to it. Right, then I think we're going to have, in the tradition, we're going to have some red leaves. Because I've been doing a lot of red leaves in these books. I'm really, really liking it. We've just got to do a hint, that's all. Because then we'll shade that with some orange. Ha, 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 she says. Shade it with some orange. Make blend it all with my left hand, she says. Ha ha ha. Oh gosh, oh goodness. I feel like a child. Oh my god. You must be laughing your head off. This is so hard. Okay, that's the red leaves. Then what colour shall I do the hat? I feel as though it needs to be quite bright. Feeling as though it should be yellow. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Is sunflower yellow? Mm, I'm not sure. Yes, sunflower yellow. Right, I'm going to get the chisel out and do it with the chisel and hope for the best. No, that's going to go in the ear. And then I think that might be it, folks, for tonight. And then you can see me hilariously try and do some shading. Ha 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 ha. And even some glossy accents I'm going to attempt with my left hand. Now that's going to be carnage. Oh goodness, you see the way that yellow's just gone into the brown? Horrendous. Horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. Do you know, I'm, I'm glad I've had a go because I really didn't appreciate how difficult it was. I didn't appreciate how difficult it was going to be, should I say. Because this really is so hard. Especially when you like lovely, non-over-the-lines colouring, beautiful blending. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. And then we're going to have... I've got to put some more pastel orange on that bit of... On that bit of ear, if I can. Oh, managed it. Oh, look. Am I getting better? Okay. Then we're going to just put a little bit of gel pen in the stars. So these are Chromatech uh, 
glitter gel pens and they're lovely. They're so glittery and beautiful. Oh, I managed it. Not very neatly, but I managed it. And they have, this is a, I think I've sold these before, where it's a 30 set and they have refills. So you almost, it's almost like you get 60 pens. Okay, it's not, it's not pretty, people. It is not pretty. But I'm having a go. I am having a go. And then I think I'm going to do a bit of pink in the little, in the little set. Oh, that's pretty. Well, if nothing else, my pink sparkly circles will lift the whole picture and make it beautiful. <laughs> Always got to have a bit of sparkle. Oh, oh my goodness, I've even got to try and shape the gel pen to make it work with my left hand. That's just bonkers. Do you know, I'm so glad there's no painting in this. There's no way. I, I can barely control a pen. I can't control a paintbrush at the best of times with my right hand. There's absolutely no way. It looked like a, a scribbly mess with my left hand. Right. I think. I think. Right, actually, I'm just going to put a sunflower yellow in the owl's eyes. And then do the, um, the mouse's eyes. And then I think that's it for tonight. And then you can see me hilariously in part two. Try a shade with pencil um, and do some glossy accents um, I don't oh goodness I don't know what colour to do his little I might do that a dark grey um, pale turquoise for the eyes what I normally do oh I think I'll do that a darker grey or a black Let's do that a darker day. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, that is it for this evening for the first part of my left hand challenge or non dominant hand challenge in an autumn colouring book, Matchstick Mouse by Morgan O'Brien. Catch up in part two for my hilarious shading with Pound of Pencils. Night, everybody! Mm -hmm.